Uh, <laughs> the other connection is The Bachelor. Oh, yeah. Do you know that? My, I do you know, know that. his connection with The Bachelor? His brother. Yeah. Yeah. I My brother that. was The Bachelor. Um, anyone here affiliated with The Bachelor? Like, yeah. No. L- yeah? Mm-hmm. No. Yes. Who? How? Well, we have uh, 166 people on staff, and there I think over 30 people have worked on that show. Oh well, they've worked on it, but they're currently like I'm not like a no, no, like a no, 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 sponsor of yours or no, anything. they're not a sponsor, and nobody is employed. Nobody here. Yeah, you know what? Of, well, you call call Charlotte on the fourth floor and ask her if anybody <laughs> in her team is affiliated at this point with The Bachelor before was, he says um, what he's going to say. Um, wait, wait, he's got what? Yeah, got it. Got it. Thank you. I, I'm going to tell you it was uh. It was a terrible experience. It was really like, it put our family through a lot. It was too emotional, you know. Um, when they bring the dates home, it involves my parents, you know. Like, my parents are older people. They're not ready for on camera. It's, um, you know, um, I realize it's a highly entertaining, highly successful show. I'm not watching this season, but I know there's a guy who has something to do with tennis because there's a billboard and like a tennis racket or something and engagement rings on the tennis rackets so i realized the popularity of it but i do want to say as someone who experienced it second second hand mm-hmm. first hand a little bit because my brother did it um i wouldn't suggest doing it or having anything to do with it it was too harrowing so are you kind of on the side now of like bethany's position on reality television you know and exploiting- I, listen i am not on Bethany's side, because Bethany really comes after a very good friend of mine, Andy Cohen. Yeah. And I don't, uh, I'm, I, I really, I, I, in my heart, I know that Andy Cohen is a good person who does not want to, does, does not purposely do bad things. Um, and I know that for a fact. So when I see people saying negative things about Andy Cohen, Mm -hmm. I want to defend him and say he is really a good-hearted person. Um, So you you don't like Brandy then? (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) That's a legal situation. I don't want to get into that. Um, But um, I I, I do want to say he's a really good-hearted person. You know, I just think... um, you know, it, it's funny. I, I think about Andy Cohen. He, so much of what he does is real life and drama. Um, like what is real, what isn't real. Um, uh, relationships uh, going sour, real life. And it's funny, Andy, because he is in the middle of it, I think finds himself in the middle of these relationships that go bad and um but but i i have to defend well maybe not i wasn't specifically saying like maybe you don't agree with bethany and her tactic and the direct attack on andy but like the overall theme of reality television and what it could do to a person and their mental state you know like not take bethany and what she said about andy out of it and more so like the well, you believe that your brother was, that's yeah. not Andy Cohen, but it is the same genre. Your brother was exploited, you feel? Uh, I, no, I didn't say that. Your family. I, I didn't say oh. that. I didn't okay. say they were exploited. We, my brother signed up for it and yeah. we signed up for it. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying, I, I would, if anyone is thinking about doing it and you are in, in any way uh, um, vulnerable. Not ready for if you have like even the slightest doubt, don't don't do it. I don't think people know. I don't think anybody, even us in the business, I don't think you can ever be prepared for the way your life changes. And I'm not talking about just reality TV. It could even be a post that can change your life. You know, if you, the fact that people are choosing to live their life or to share their thoughts or to share their uh, personal space with others, you don't know how that is going to affect you, how it's going to be interpreted, how it is going to change your life. And you can never know that. 
It's um, it's really funny. I think uh, I'll speak on behalf of my wife. Um, I think my wife and I feel a little bit of um shame with my brother because we really pushed him to do the bachelor we thought it would be hilarious we were wow we love my wife and i love unscripted television we love reality television and we were in a relationship and when we knew one of the producers who was saying hey we're looking for somebody we're looking at these people and we really pushed for my brother to do it we really pushed for it and um it was um it was a nightmare. <laughs> it was it was really uh, Does he have any resentment toward you? I, I having I, done it? Uh, no, I get along with my brother very well. I, I talk to him a lot and everything, but it was um and, and I don't think we're we have the kind of relationship where it's like, you, this is your fault. You made me do this cuz you you don't uh, again, and I also want to say when people sign up for these things, I think they sign up for it. I think you're in it, you know? I mean, man, and it's funny just how like History almost re- repeats itself. I'm always like saying to my wife, like, hey, honey, uh, somebody left Beverly Hills. Let's get in there. You and I, let's mix it up <laughs> with Mauricio and Ken Todd. And um, it's my wife who's like, no fucking way. And um, it, it's, it's You would funny. really do that? Because I think that you, you know, don't, I, I, you I don't maintain it. you. Do, but you, here's the one thing that I will tell you, and you know this. Ultimately, if you sign on to any of these, and even with being friends with Andy and whatever, if you sign on to any of this, you have absolutely no control how that edit is manipulated and what the, how they're going to tell a story. Yeah. And even if you don't do anything wrong, you could m- be made to look at least less than you are. You know, um, let me say this, and it's why I try not to say anything negative about anyone who's on an unscripted show, okay? And except for, of course, I mentioned Sandoval earlier, who I said wasn't a man. Uh, mm-hmm. I, it, was, it was a heated, it was a different time. Um, but... It takes so much courage to do those shows. I really have, um, I, I have a lot of respect, and and I'm I'm being completely serious here. I have a lot of respect for people who do reality television shows, and for people who do them for years. I have a tremendous amount of respect for them. It takes, it is, it, it's, it's not a skill it's everything. though. I know you're saying it's not a skill, but I, it takes a different kind of fortitude, Howie. It takes a different kind of... I agree with that. You saw just from doing one interview, the amount of publicity and even hate and vitriol you got. Imagine what those women and those people on those shows that are putting themselves out there every single day are dealing with and still deciding to come back and film and put their lives out there. I feel like the price of notoriety people will pay anything for notoriety. And that's kind of a sad statement. Um, I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, I, I don't- I'm not knocking anybody. Yeah. Listen, I, I'm, I produce reality TV. I would probably be on it if I was promised some control and I knew how I was going to be perceived or thought, did he answer? No, it said spam risk. That could be Corey though. Hello? Hello? Put on speaker. Oh, hi, Michael. Good afternoon. My name is May. How's it going? Go ahead. Good. Hi, May. All right. Perfect. Hello, Mike. I'm calling about the property address. Oh, oh, oh. 